Hey guys, um, uh, I don't normally do this. Like, this is a vlog for both YouTube and DeviantArt. So we're gonna start with YouTube first. Uh, so the reason why I haven't been streaming for about five weeks, I'd say at this point, maybe six. Uh, for three of those weeks, I wasn't really like that motivated, and um, uh, I just wanted to. Well, I also wanted to work on some stuff for DeviantArt because I was gonna be away for two weeks. So. That's kind of why there wasn't really much YouTube act YouTube or live streaming activity then. And for the other two weeks, like I said, I was on holiday. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, it was honestly something that I really needed because it really helped a lot with my um, uh, mental stress. Because I was getting a lot of that lately. Like, m mental stress, mild depression, like that sort of stuff. I just needed to get out of the house proper. So, um, uh, yeah. So this is also like going to go into a bit of DeviantArt as well. Like for uh, for live streaming, I'm uh, I'm still going to be doing it, but I want to remind everyone that I'm only doing it when I'm in the mood to. So I'm gonna like try a little extra harder to like you know try and like get into the mood to do it. But if I'm not in the mood to, I'm not in the mood to do it. Which it's kind of a bummer because I'm a uh, Jenny Lacou uh, Detective Who has been very interesting so far, despite the fact I've only streamed it once. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Uh, but yeah. Uh, regardless, I'm, uh, I should be getting back to the swing of things now that I'm more than motivated to get back to my usual stuff. However, this is something that's going to be affecting my DeviantArt a little bit more. Um, uh, during um, uh, the first week when I was um, uh, on holiday, I sort of came to a bit of a, um, uh, a realization that I'm... Uh, in four months' time, I'm going to be 31 years old. I am already 30 years old. And I'm, uh... I haven't really done anything, like, super worthwhile. Like, for the past 13 years on DeviantArt, it will soon be 14 next month. I've been doing comics, um, uh, originals, crossovers, and I'm, uh... I never exactly did anything more with them besides, you know, like, like, obviously trying to write stories. And um, uh, this is something that's gonna be um uh, interesting to say at least is that I'm uh, I've decided that I'm 30 years old now. I think it's time I finally did something proper, like s something with my life, especially since that I'm uh, like Universal Credit has been hounding me more than ever to um. Uh, get a job and it may be inevitable that I might have to get a job and I'm uh, like this is going to like affect everything that I do here in a negative way with that being said however I've decided that I'm uh, I think it's time that I actually started to um, uh, make a profit with my comics so here's the idea that I'm running through my head right now. For the past couple of years, I'd say, I've had this um, uh, lingering thought of building my own website to house my comics. And um, uh, with DeviantArt going through its new makeover, I have noticed that while my numbers have increased, I've also noticed a dramatic decrease in DeviantArt's reputation overall. So, like, my numbers have gotten bigger, but it's not going to last long. Because, as much as I love DeviantArt, it is a ship that's slowly starting to sink. So, I'm not leaving DeviantArt. I'm just going to say this right now. I'm staying, I'm staying until it's sunk. With that being said, however, I have decided that I'm, uh, I'm going to start looking into building a website... To not necessarily house the comics that I'm posting on DeviantArt, but to house comics that I could sell. So the idea is that I'm uh, like, uh, it, I kind of like I'm a uh, um, Amazon or eBay in some cases, where I'm uh, like, you go onto a website, like you click to buy stuff, but I'm uh, instead of like a physical comic, you get a downloaded comic for you to read. So, so downloading web comics, like I'm probably, I probably could be wording this a lot better, but um, uh, this is honestly the best I could do. 
But yeah, I've decided that I'm, I'm finally going to start um, uh, looking into building a website where I can sell my um, uh, original comics. Most of them, anyway, because I'm... Uh, with some of my originals, like, cross over with, like, other stuff like Cartoon Network, so I am uh, can't really sell those. Those will be staying on DA. But um, uh, original comics um, uh, will be sold there, and... So, yeah. Right now, this isn't something that's going to be happening immediately. Like, first off, I'm going to need to study up on, um, uh, like, the copyright stuff um, uh, in the UK. And um, uh, how to build a website, and to actually, like... And to like set it up so people can purchase um, stuff online, and it or and it allows them to download what they've bought. So I thankfully, uh, my friend Dan, um, uh, he linked me um uh, a few things. Like first off, with the copyright stuff, like this is kind of amazing actually. I'm um, because uh, I thought I was gonna have to write off a lot of like copyright. I'm um, uh, like leaflets. I'm um, uh, I had to like pay to like get some certain copyrights done. Apparently that's not necessarily the case in the UK. Um, I got a gist of it, and apparently, like, as long as you just say it belongs to you, then that's more than enough. So, that's a bit of a, of a relief. Just to be absolutely sure, however, I'm going to be studying up on this sort of stuff, but on DeviantArt, it, it just pretty much means that I'm going to be on, uh, at the end of every picture, I'm going to be saying, like, this character belongs to whoever. Like... So, 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 like, my characters belong to me, and these characters belong to them, like, that sort of stuff. I'm going to start doing that on DA for now. And, um, uh... So, so yeah, and, um, uh, I don't know how to build a website, obviously, and... But, obviously, I can look it up. But, yeah, and I don't... I don't know how long it's going to take for me to, um, uh, like, actually get this stuff done, because I haven't even started looking into its proper... I'm going to start doing that next week after I've um, uh, done a few things as well. But there is um, uh, one thing that I do want to say about DeviantArt real quick. And that is... Um, uh, this is something I'm going to say right here. Uh, Tiffany Triple Threat, uh, Mango Island Kids, uh, the Odyssey Kids intros. They're staying. They're going to stay on DeviantArt. They're going to be free to view. So no problem. Now, in terms of original comics that will be on the website... Uh, one of them being is um, uh, Oswald Blakeson. Uh, this, because um, uh, for, uh, for the past couple of weeks now, the um, uh, To Hunt a Dragon comic has been um, uh, posting weekly every Friday, and people have been enjoying it. Like, they probably would enjoy it more if it was in color, because that's just one thing I've noticed that colored pictures do better than the um, uh, sketches, which makes sense. So I've been thinking on um, uh, like. Turn Oswald Blakeson into his own series, which is basically like a Dungeons and Dragons parody. Well, uh, a parody on, on like all sorts of fantasy stuff, like um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Final Fantasy, Legend of Zelda, Skyrim, etc., etc. So yeah, so I'm uh, I'm planning on um, uh, him having the comics, um, uh, on the website, and um. Uh, this is actually going to be a bit of bad news um, uh, for those on DeviantArt. Um, uh, cause keep in mind, this vlog is primarily meant for that. Like, Normally I do a written journal, but I wanted to do a vlog this time because this is kind of a big deal. Uh, for the past couple of years now, I've had a, um, a weekly comic series called Monster Girls of Grimlock Academy. This is, this is honestly one of my most original series. So, the original plan was, um, uh, to, do, was to do um, uh, comic strips every week. And um, uh, like, with my um, uh, to hunt a dragon comic that was meant to design that was designed to be filler, so I could actually get enough pages done to begin book two. That's unfortunately not the case anymore. Um, Monster Girls of Grimlock is going to be discontinued on Deviant Art, and I'm going to be reworking the original comics, and that's going to be set up on the website as well. So. That's unfortunately the biggest um, uh, downside to all this sort of stuff, is that um, uh, those who enjoyed my Monster Girls of Grimlock series, they're now unfortunately going to have to pay in order to read more of it. And I think this is going to like shoot me in the foot a little bit, because like the first collection of books is going to be like reworks of my original comics. I I'm going to like make them better, of course. Like Obviously, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like add more details. I'm going to... like, um, uh, like 
Um, add more details, add better coloring, um, uh, better writing, hopefully. So yeah, um, uh, so this means that I'll be working on my original comics every Friday. Um, uh, that's meant to be for the website. And the good news is that uh, concerning Oswald Blakeson is that I'm already halfway through a second book. So I'm most likely going to be reworking to Hunter Dragon as the first one and then slap it with the second one in one collection. Maybe. Uh, I don't, once again, I don't know how this is all going to work. This is just like my thought process as I was doing this. And I'm, um, uh, plain and simple, this could very easily change. But one thing that's remained certain is that I'm, uh, Oswald Blakeson will be getting a couple of books on the website. Monster Gods of Grimlock is going to be getting um, uh, reworked and put into the website. So, unfortunately, Grimlock Comics on DeviantArt is dead. And I'm very sorry to um, uh, say that. But it's, also, it's, it's one of my most popular and it's one of my most originals. It, it just, logically, it feels like the best decision. Now, that doesn't mean I'm, uh, I'm not going to be doing any more Grimlock pictures on DeviantArt. I'm still, I'm still going to do that. But the main comics are going to be in the books, which we, you'll have to pay for. I have been thinking of a third one as well. Um, uh, one of my favorites, personally, is... Um, uh, Odyssey Kids. Um, uh, one of my personal favorites um, uh, to work with. Um, uh, and I've been thinking to myself, like, in addition to like the intro comics and the RPG Maker game that I want to eventually make for them, I think I actually want to make a... another series set in its own continuity, using the same characters but different rules on how the world works. Mainly because, um, uh, like... Uh, like, Odyssey Kids on DA is going to be canon to Tiffany Triple Threat and Mango Island Kids. But I think I want to make an original comic featuring Odyssey Kids that works on different rules. So you see um, uh, how the characters work differently, like how they'll react differently. Basically, um, uh, like, basically, like, put a lot of my original characters into a sellable book while not getting rid of um, uh, what I've already established on DeviantArt. Now, I know that some people could have said, like, well, you know, Tiffany Triple Threat, Mango Island Kids, and Odyssey Kids, I could just rework them, get rid of the um, uh, crossover characters, just replace them with originals. I'm a little too far into the story writing for those, mentally, and um, uh, it would also require, like, reworking um, uh, Tech Academy Troubles and, like, um, uh, one of the Odyssey Kids intros, and um, uh, what I've already established for Tiffany Triple Threat, and I, I thought to myself, I still want to do DeviantArt stuff, so I'm going to be keeping them the way they are, and I also don't want to rework them for the sake of um, uh, uh, for the sake of this, because I feel like I'd be rewriting too much. In addition, one of the main characters in Tiffany Triple Threat um, uh, is Trixie Tang from Fairly Odd Parents. And she's honestly one of my favorite characters to work with, and I don't want to get rid of her for the t to make just for the sake of making Tiffany Triple Threat original. Because she's honestly one of my favorite characters to work with. That the only way I could probably do that is if, for some reason, for some absolute absurd way, I could actually like, you know, buy the character from Nickelodeon or Butch Hartman or whoever owns it specifically, which I don't think that's going to happen ever. So, yeah. So the good news for DB9 is that Tiffany Triple Threat, Mango Island Kids, Aussie Kids, they're staying. Monster Girls of Grimlock is going. And it does bum me out to say that. But, in some cases you could see, like, a lot of the stuff on DB9 is promoting it. So, like, you'll get... A, so, you, so those who've watched me for years already know, like, what the characters are like. They've already read the old version, so maybe they'll be motivated to buy the new versions and see what they're like. It's kind of like the Henry Stickman collection in a way, where I'm uh, how I'm a uh, they knew uh, where I'm a 
I didn't do the first four games and then five games. Well, forget it. Uh, they already knew the. Uh, they already had the free ones, and then they had to buy like the remade um, uh, versions along with the extra games. So that's pretty much what Monster Girls of Grimlock is going to be going through. Like, I'm also going to be adding more to it. It's not just going to be the exact same pages. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um. Uh, so yeah, starting July first, I'm going to start. I'm uh, putting copyright names. On, on my DeviantArt page, like, this character belongs to this person, like that. And, um, uh, starting on every Friday from now on, I'm, uh, I'm going to start working on, um, uh, my stuff for my, um, uh, eventual website. In fact, um, uh, th this week coming, I won't be, um, uh, like, doing any of my scheduled stuff yet. I'm going to be spending most of this week to work on July's Daily Picks while also, like, studying up on how to build a... Well, not necessarily learn how to build the website yet, because I should probably have some comics ready and done first. Because what's the point of building a website where you buy stuff and there's nothing to get yet? So, I'm most likely going to be um, uh, working on the colored version of um, uh, 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 Hunter Dragon, pair that up with the um, uh, second book that I've already worked on. Start working on start working on remaking the Monster Girls comics, and see what I can do about like making a second Odyssey Kids comic. Because let's be real, I'm um, uh, if I can actually turn what I've been doing for close to fourteen years into a genuine job where I make money off of it, instead of relying on um uh, like universal credits or disability living allowance in general. In addition, I'm also 30 years old, like, I'm getting old. Like, I know I've just turned 30, but that's also like 14 years of, of my life I haven't really done much in terms of a career, besides commissions, but that doesn't count. So yeah, I think that's it for 17 minutes, Jesus. This is, this is probably like the longest vlog I've ever done, but this is all important. Maybe not all of it, but still. But yeah, I I think that's everything. So yeah, um, uh, I may have to put a um, uh, little stop on commissions for the time being so I can get more stuff done. I might even reopen my Patreon to see what I can do with that. Not just yet, though, because I don't even know, like, what exactly I can do for it. Besides, like, maybe exclusive pictures. But, like, that's not really me. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, for those on YouTube, I'm going to try... Uh, for those who watch my streams or, like, my videos on YouTube... I'm going to try and um, uh, get back into the swing of things with those. D&D uh, &D will be taking a bit longer of a break because now I need to rewrite. Now I need to write a lot of stuff for Chapter 2. In addition, um, uh, my brother is also working on his own campaign, so we're going to need to work on some time slots for that. Alright. But yeah, um, uh, I should be getting back to streaming Tuesday. Hopefully. Well... <sighs> Anyway, uh, thank you all for listening, and, um, uh, fucking wish me luck. I've never done anything like this before, so, a part of me kind of think I'm jumping into the deep end, but, what can I say, I've, I've been an all or nothing kind of guy to begin with, so why, so why, so why, <laughs> so why fix what, what isn't broken? Alright, take care guys, see you later.